Hi guys, right, Gaming Bear here, so the deal, let's have a look. You get the tank, 7,750 7, gold, the mission bonuses, the personal reserves, and 100% crew. So, for £42.11, or uh, €49.99, Euros is it a good tank? Yes, it's a good tank. It's a lot of money for this deal. It is... A, a tier 8 a tier 8 light tank so f it can make you a lot of money it's a good fun and it's nice to have a tier 8 that you can just buy like that and it, I, I feel that it's it's worth it but right now at this time of the morning I, I'm hoping let's just check the the vehicle side I would expect them to come out with a deal which allows you just to buy this tank but no it doesn't look that way Anything in the way of specials? Ah, £21.13. Brilliant. So, £21.13 is what I would say this is really worth it. And is it is it worth it for £21.13? It, I would say yes, definitely. So £21.13, or I'll save 10% with the bundle. So for £21.13, what else can you get for your money? A tier 8? So £21.13... Ah, uh, you can get the uh, the CDC for a little bit more, the STA, which is not so good, the FV, which I would say isn't as good, the Panther 88 I like, which is uh, a little bit more money, and you can get the uh, the Super Pershing as well. So, and for the same money, the SU-12244, which is another very good tank. So, for this amount of money, definitely, it's, uh, it, it is worth it, it's a good deal. I want to put gameplay in, but I want to get this up to let you know about this tank so um so this is me and the uh the 41 saying that this bad boy is definitely worth it a very good fun tank and i i, I recommend it it's somewhere between a two and two and a three thumb for the from the bear so um yeah definitely for 20 21 pound odd, odd it's it's worth it for a tier eight light tank which does look incredibly nice a very very nice looking tank and it functions very very well if you haven't got this well be prepared to uh, to fight against them because they they are very nice it takes a little bit of uh, practice to get uh, get the hang of it but it's a very very neat tank very good package right let's have a look so comparing this to the spa panzer ru251 is it good well as you probably know that I rate the uh, RU251 as a, as, a, as a neat tier 8 uh, light tank. So DPM on this is just under 2,200, whereas the uh, the RU has got uh, 2,300. Alpha is the same. Penetration is 8 less than the uh, than the Spar Panzer. Then we come to the, uh, the, the reload. So the reload is a little bit worse than the... Uh, than the Spar Panzer, which is why the difference in the uh, in the in the actual DPM. So okay, what what does what are the good and bad points? So we've got an aim time of 1.8 seconds. So in comparison to the 2.1 seconds of the of the RU, it's a far faster um, aiming gun, which is quite nice. You've got more accuracy, slightly lower DPM, but a more accurate gun on the move, which we'll have a look at. Then you've got the uh, disperse, gun dispersion, so it's 0.38 compared to 0.36, so it's a little bit less ac accurate than the uh, than the RU, but the aim time makes quite a bit of difference with the 0.3 seconds improvement. Then you've got a 0.2 improvement on the actual aiming on the move, so it's a 0.14 compared to 0.16 with the, with the RU. Turret traverse is identical. Shell velocity is actually 25 uh, meters a second faster than the Spar Panzer, so it's got a faster shot, which means over um, over distance and leading a target, you need to leave less uh, less time, and because it's a more accurate gun that can pinpoint where you want to actually fire. Armor capacity, you've got an additional five rounds, so in a protracted battle, you can do over a thousand points more damage because you've got the same alpha but a higher ammo capacity, which is pretty nice. Then the shell cost. The shell cost cost a 50 less than the uh, than the RU, which is quite nice. It can save you a bit of money, so you can make a bit more money while you're uh, wrecking the enemy. Top speed, 
72 kmh. Well, you're thinking 72. Spa Panzer's got 80. So this is a, not quite as fast, but still very, very fast. Power to weight ratio, 21.5 compared to 24.5, almost, almost 25 horsepower per ton with the uh, the RU. But you then come to the uh, the Traverse, which is an additional 10 degrees better on the uh, the M41. So the M41 is able to pirouette and work the ridges and work uh, more neatly around tanks that, uh, that you come into contact with. Now the Spa Panzer itself is no slouch, but this 54 degrees is very, very good. Then you come to the uh, terrain resistance. We know it's got the top speed of 72, but the terrain resistance is 0.2 better on hard terrain, 0.2 on medium, and 0.4 better on soft terrain. So this is a bit of a demon. The power to weight ratio, yes, you're losing 3.3 3 .3 horsepower per tonne, but you make it up because of the additional or the, the, the better ground resistance with this, this vehicle, which is very nice. Gun elevation, 17 degrees of elevation. is not quite as good as the 18 degrees with the RU, but it's still very good. Gun, <laughs> gun depression of uh, 8 degrees is no slouch. It's a little bit um, Russian-esque and not quite as good as the 10 degrees of the RU, but still very, very good. Turret Traverse itself, so the tank Traverse 54, but the turret Traverse 8 degrees more. 8, 6 degrees more. It's, I'm tired, it's uh, 6.40, 6.50 in the morning, I've been gaming all night. And so, yeah, 50 degrees of uh, turret rotation, very, very good. So you think the, uh, the RU is good in all aspects, pirouetting, turning the turret, fighting it out with other light tanks. This is very, very good indeed. 50 degrees, wow. So yeah, you're very, very good for all of this. Then you come to the uh, the armor; it's a little bit better. You, you know, everything's in in the uh, in the green, 25 instead of 20. But at this level, it's basically nothing. At the angles, you could pull off a lucky bounce, but I would say probably, yeah, probably not. Just ignore it. But y you will occasionally get the uh, the lucky bounce. Health is actually down by 100 points, so the RU can take an, one additional hit. Then we come to the engine health. Engine's a little bit weaker. The tracks are the same. View range is identical at 400 meters. Radio range, they're both the same at uh, 745 meters. Chance of fire, it's it's more chance of, of a catching fire than the the RU by eight eight percent. So that's one thing you've got to watch out for. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, the the actual armor of the tank. Bear with me a second. So gun mantlet. Yeah, you can see up to well, 30, 31 degrees. You saw a 60 there. Basically, you you could potentially possibly pull off a lucky bounce, but generally at this tier, unlikely to. Same as the RU, the track area is very uh, is, is likely to be able to uh, to pull off and soak a uh, a shot. The RU can do it. This can do it as well. So that's one thing. Angle properly, and then your the side above the tracks is vulnerable, but the number of uh, with the RU, the number of shots I've had that have hit the tracks and it's soaked because it's quite a large area of tracks that you'd be surprised just how much by angling it right, the, your tracks will eat. The people won't expect to um, they, they will expect to uh, to penetrate you. So let's look back at the at uh, the vehicle. So track area, very pretty large. So aim over. Snapshot, in, out, fast, pirouetting, using the gun to, uh, to maximum effect. But the this is a nimble little devil of a tank. Really, really good fun. And do I recommend it? Actually, it's, it's, a, pretty, it's a very nice looking model. It's a very fun tank to play. Let's have a look. You get the tank, 7,750 7, gold. The mission bonuses, the personal reserves, and 100% crew. So for £42.11, or uh, €49.99, Euros, uh, is it a good tank? Yes, it's a good tank. So, in a nutshell, are either of these two deals worth it? Yes, they're both worth it. It depends which one suits you best. So I would say go for one of the two packages. It's, it's, it's a good, fun tank. 
and you can just enjoy it and have a lot of fun while you're making credits and just kicking it with your team. So yes, thumbs up from the bear for the uh, M4190GF. So that's me signing out and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers guys, bye. Hi guys, just a little bit extra. The footage that's about to come now is a bit of gameplay from Odin Mortis uh, NA. Us working together, me and the uh, the M41. Sadly, the the actual visuals were a bit funny. I was lagging a bit, having a bit of a problem with playing, recording, and streaming at the same time, and it was causing a lagging effect. But so that's that's a little bit extra, which is coming now. The sound is okay, so you can hear what was going on. So. This is a little bit extra for you guys, so without further ado, let's put that in. Right, I'll head straight ahead up into the uh, the hill, lead the way for the mutsis. Yes. And then we'll see what goes on there. Fantastic. Well, yeah, I'm gonna try to just keep it loose. The first force to get in there, and then the wherever. Seeing the map again, the 32. So, uh, right, we're basically just right behind you. Almost. Kind of stay hidden. Okay, case out of Yeah. I'm seeing. Once you guys get healed, you want to scout kind of, if possible, I know, scout near the bridge or something. There's one. Ready to fire! Get Let's find another target! Another one is off the bridge. Three near our base. Okay, are we fire? Penetration! You can hit those. Enemy armor is We got a kill the looking for it. Just fire. 523. They might tell me I'm just not I 
did 2200. I did 1215. So. He's got four different ones. He has four. <laughs> Good job, guys. All right, I think it's a big, decent plan. I think I don't know. It could be better. I think it worked pretty well. well. One of their yeah. one of their ISs it must have lost connection because his side was to us. The T32 should have been on the left side. Uh, I had more of a vantage point of sniping our uh, our our cap from that side. I well, got a lot of hit points from right there. Oh, well, that's yeah. that's fine. It's like like I said, I don't usually. If I would have called it. If I would have known. I would have kind of went on the map beforehand. Yeah. Yeah. That's, no, just, that's perfectly yeah. fine. I'm just letting you know from the. Good luck, guys. Good luck, guys. Remember to load your gold. That's all I got. Shit. <laughs> Apparently it's too late to say that. Never too late to say that. Basically same plan as last. Mediums, mediums hill. IS-3's the one line. And the T-32 stay in the back. And if they do push our cap, then uh, I'll go ahead and meet them. And then the IS-3s will either keep on pushing or come back. We'll see the situation. Uh, what's on the hill? I want the, if you don't spot anything, then we'll have their scout go down the hill on, from our side of the map and kind of get to our the bridge and um, keep the scouts up. A little bit further from this side. But. <sighs> Gotta make sure I cover the other side of that rock in case it come up. Whew. Made it. I can't believe we haven't spotted nothing yet. Is it there? Yeah, right Should there. I move to assist the IS-3s from the hotel? Do you want us to push on their base? I'll just sit there for now. Yeah, everybody just sit and let see what they're doing. Dark, can you just keep on going? Just make yourself notice that you we're still pushing. Don't go too far. Just, I don't know if you got Sorry. six cents on that. No yep. worries. Okay, so once you get lit, you just stop and... User left your channel. Yeah, we pretty much cover both sides of the rock on the cap, so... so they're in... they're in that... Uh, F... Four, no, I guess it's the F3 area. E3. Yeah, yeah, E3, there. yeah. Alright, so scout. You can come back down to our cap. Oh, he's up oh. on our cap. And they're on our cap. Let's go. Okay, let's go IS3s and uh, T32s. Ooh. A lot Christ. of them are on our cap. They're all there. It's a great bridge. Everybody off, don't snipe, you gotta get down there because you can't snipe. Roomba, watch your room on your right at the back. Oh. Rotate target. Critical hit. Dead. If you find the guy that's got the points, call him out. I have six next. Something nicked me. I'm I'm thinking it's that IS6 in the back. No, I can't oh, hit still need you anymore. guys can't snipe from up there. I don't think you can hit anything. Well, I hit like three things already from up there. So oh, there's no fans or. You can move it up. That's it. Okay. 
Okay, CDC up there. Is anyone else to stay up there for now? Yep. Got, yeah, I just hit that. Just hit that guy. That's it. Indian Panthers over here still somewhere. Word. Awesome. So we know we got one medium at their cap. Go for them. Let's go straight to There's their cap. There's different levels that we play with. Straight to cap, okay. Nice work, guys. Yeah, I was sniping all over the place on those ISs. Yeah, you can. Here. You can get some good shots. They're, they're just a bit they, well, yeah. yeah, but if they're piled up against that rock, while well, there were so many, you could probably you could have, but I don't think you know if there's four of you guys up there, just maybe one of you stays. They're both there. Yeah, I'm waiting for them to come out. If you guys push them out, I can finish them. No. Chase them. Ah, damn it. Yeah, the other yeah, CDC is my big time oh, sniper. Cool. I guess I'm going in. Enemy armor is damaged. Enemy armor is hit. Got a shot off before me. I'll never get a shot in, probably. If I do, it'll be a miracle. Nope, he's dead. Pop goes the weasel. It's good because they're not friends with Bubby. I figure this way, had we been friends with them, we aren't anymore. 